Now, I know you're a scientist because you're wearing a white coat. <laughs> it's actually, I actually okay. am. I'm, I'm an okay. experimental scientist. Okay. Uh, we have a research lab in Hawthorne, New Jersey called sure. Falcon Space. We're looking uh. into uh, p potential propulsion systems to how these craft work. Mm -hmm. And you asked a couple very legitimate questions. Thank you. Why aren't scientists involved? Well, uh, there's actually an organization that's been going on three years now called APEC, the Alternative Propulsion Engineering Conference. Mm -hmm. And we have PhDs, scientists from all walks of life, mo a lot of theoretical physicists. Uh, many I of think them. I spoke at the first one, by the way, probably when you were a little baby. But anyway. I, I, I actually created it. Yeah, so okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> if you yeah, did, I mean, it was NASA on my laptop. NASA did have an advanced propulsion program and, uh, and, and for alternative propulsion. And I, got, I was involved in... In Richard in Eskridge Africa. and uh, in, in, out Brandenburg. of Cleveland, actually, believe it or not. So, oh, they had one yeah. down in Huntsville, Alabama, yeah. Yeah. too. Okay, anyway, sorry. and uh, some of that stuff never got published, but I, yeah. I went down there and checked that out. Um, so, some of your questions uh, about why are they uh, saucer shape, mm -hmm. um, or how can they do a ninety degree turn mm -hmm. without turning everyone into uh, salsa into salsa on the yeah. side? Well, have you ever given any thought of where inertial mass comes from? Yeah, I spent a lot of time thinking about that. And you don't really have an answer yet, right? Well, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean universal mass? Uh, no, not universal, uh, inertial mass. Inertial mass? Yes. Okay. Well, what inertial mass inertial? is the reason why they'll get turned into salsa. Well, you mean in the sense that, that, I don't want to have a physics debate here, but in the sense that, you know, inertial mass being the thing that responds to gravitational force? Um, and also, as opposed to you know, there's rest mass, there's there's rest energy, there's and it is a remarkable fact that the, that that there are different ways of considering the mass of an object, but inertial mass is what responds to gravity. Okay, and so so we do understand that in the context of general relativity. What is its origin? Well, it turns out if you want to think of the Higgs field as giving inertial mass to elementary particles, then it comes from the Higgs field. Okay, maybe there's a way to get rid of that. Have you, have you heard of there that? There is, there is. All you'd have to do is heat a system up to a temperature of roughly a billion, billion, billion degrees. What if you did and the opposite? locally, which would require more energy than is available probably from, from the sun in its lifetime to do that locally. And, you, and in a small region, you might be able to make the Higgs field go to zero. Yeah. But what if you did the opposite? What if you oriented the subatomic particle spins? What was that? Uh, there's a process called dynamic nuclear orientation where you can orient subatomic particle spins and make uh, matter weightless. There, well, I, okay. That's, that, that's something that we're working on. We don't on. have that discussion. We, you, you don't, and we haven't. Okay, but anyway, we can debate about that later. I know of, uh, of these wonderful experiments where people tried to rotate something and claimed that they reduced the inertial mass, which weren't reproducible and were, in fact, shown not to be reproducible. I, I'm quite aware of that community. And uh, look, I, I, I think it's... Here's, here's the problem, and it's what I told NASA. This is not an engineering problem. It's not as if engineers are going to design some new, design some new propulsion system. It's fundamental physics. And it's fundamental physics at the level that we, that we, we don't have the capability of, that, that's at the level of, of what people like me are doing, at the edge of theoretical physics. And so it's not as if we're going to put a bunch of engineers in a laboratory and make an advanced propulsion system that involves physics that we don't yet understand. It's just way beyond, it's like, it's like asking, it's like asking a, a, a dolphin and saying, okay, we need to make a new radio transmission system. I mean, they don't know yet about electromagnetic waves. So it's not an engineering problem. At this point, trying to understand things like warp drive, which I can argue is impractical anyway and won't work. Um, it's already been achieved in Omaha, Nebraska. They got like five it, pounds. Of it, 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 anyway, okay, it's good. You keep working on it. That's all I can say. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I don't want to be rude, but we, you know, it's no sense probably in this, in this group, but let me say that as a lot of people, when I have debates with people about evolution, they say scientists are closed-minded, they don't want to, you know, and, and what people don't realize is that every scientist goes into the work each day wanting to prove their colleagues wrong. Because that's how you get well-known. 
So it's not a saying, we, let's have a little, little handshake. We'll, we'll never open our, our minds to anything new. Or if there is, we won't let anyone know. It's the exact opposite. So what I'm saying to you is that the, the reason I'm poo-pooing what you've talked about is that people like me have looked at this stuff and would love it to be true. Just like I'd love there to be evidence of... I mean, it would be amazing if there really were some divine creator who did something. It would be wonderful to have evidence of that. There isn't. Okay? And, and so... But if the stars aligned tonight and I looked up and I saw an Aramaic, if I could read it, I am here, uh, hey, I'd be the I first one to can. buy it. That'd be great. If I had evidence of some... Of, or I knew of anyone who had evidence of something like that, I'd be the first person to be working on it. Well, but you're welcome no, to come to the lab. It's a half stuff, an hour from here. I know. but when Half you look an hour at, drive. But when you look at the peer-reviewed stuff, what you see is that there's nothing there. So I encourage there's, you there's to There's trying... lots of stuff there, okay. and we have lots of peer-reviewed okay. papers that we would okay. love to okay. share with you. Great. Don't, don't share with me, but, but publish it. <laughs> Uh, also, okay. your, your, uh, your friend Richard Feynman famously said, it doesn't matter how great your theory is or how, how smart you are. If it disagrees with experiment, it's, it's wrong. wrong. Absolutely. Right. And we do experiments. Good. Keep doing experiments. I encourage you to keep doing it. And I hope, I sincerely hope you prove me wrong. I really, really do. I earnestly hope you prove me wrong because that would be fascinating. So okay. keep, keep it up. Thank Don't you. spend public money on it, but keep it up. Okay. Okay.